What's up everybody? Brett here with Double Shots. I am back. I'm excited because I'm doing another streaming service review. This time over Pluto TV, just like I promised, guys. Now, before we get started, I'm not getting paid in conjunction, sponsorship, or anything of this. This is based off my own honest, independent review or, or usage of Pluto TV. Now, if you like our content, subscribe to our channel. Give this video a big like. If you want to see something new, email us or comment in this video. And let's go ahead and get started with it. Pluto TV. I'm pretty sure you've seen a couple limited advertisements. You've seen them probably as pop-ups on uh, certain uh, web pages that you go to. Or even in your Play Store or your uh, uh, App Store, depending on uh, what kind of uh, phone you have. So is Pluto TV... When you sign up, it asks you a couple things. First, to put in uh, your email address, your password, and your year of birth. That's it. No credit card is needed. It is. It's absolutely free. So you're probably asking yourself this question as far as off of things. Hmm. How is it free? Well, first and foremost, what makes it free is they rely on advertisers. So pretty much advertisers go ahead and... And that's how they make their revenue off of those advertisers that say, hey, we want to get our names out there. So when you see a commercial, the advertiser's paying to go ahead and have their stuff on Pluto TV. That's how Pluto TV makes their revenue. And pretty much they give you the saving by not having to pay a dime for any of the content that they have picked on here. And they actually do have a, have a huge selection of, I wouldn't say newer modern stuff, but classical classic stuff uh <laughs> going from there it's nothing where you're going to have your let me put it to this way if you're looking for something that is going to have you know sports that you're going to be able to watch live tv today for like the game forget about it that's not what it's about it's about having content free to the viewers uh, classical stuff and going from there now as well as well to, uh, as well to the downside there is a lot of commercials, simply because of the fact of number one, that's how the content, that's how they get paid. So they want to be able to have that, and right now we're watching Storage Wars. And I'll show you some of the stuff on the guide and everything as far as off of it going from here. Now, a couple devices that it actually works for, uh, Pluto TV, it works for Android, mobile, and tablets. Apple iPhone and iPads, Apple TV, the fourth generation, Amazon Kindle Fire tablets, Amazon Fire TV and Fire Stick, Roku devices and Roku TVs, Chromecast, TiVo Stream 4K, Android TV, various, and web browsers. While that's kind of how they work as far as off of things. Now, let's go ahead and look at their guide. This is pretty much what they have right here. So here's what you're going to find. You have your featured... Uh, and it's, it's really kind of confusing. Now, your featured is going to show your thrillers, live, 90s throwback, Kevin Hart, LOL Network, uh, Ride Pass, Cine, XOXO, and that's, I would assume, your Spanish channel. Movies. These are, uh -huh, if I can get up to it, sorry. You have Pluto 07, Pluto Spotlight, Shaft. Comedy, drama, Pluto, uh, Pluto comedy, drama, Pluto fantastic, romance, Pluto crime movies, thrillers, horror, terror, as we continue going down. So there are a lot of things, 80s reround, 70s cinema, the movie channel is on here, then we can go down to entertainment. Paramount Picks. So if you want to watch CSI Vegas, some of this stuff is what it has. American Rust, Walker, Texas Ranger. Again, classics. Stuff that real they don't make Walker, Texas Ranger with Chuck Norris anymore. Now, here we are watching it. Now, does it look any good? It does have, it takes a little bit to get into the streaming portion to where it has good quality, but it really does work pretty well. It's it's free content, guys. Server-wise and everything, going from there, it's not bad at all. Picture quality is for what it is. That being said, let's go ahead and go back, if I can. Let's go back to it. 
Beverly Hills 90210, Charmed, Baywatch, Degrassi, The Young and the Restless. So you do have things on here that are really, really cool. Again, you can watch it for free. Now, let's say I want to watch what's really cool, I think. Let's say I want to watch the CBS Evening News of New York. Even though I don't live in New York. Here we go. This is pretty cool. Let's say I'm taking a big trip to New York. This is going to get me what New York's uh, weather's going to be. The whole nine yards of it. So it's really, really cool that you can see some of the other stuff from around the world. Again, local channels you're not going to have in here, guys. Unfortunately, that's kind of the downfall of everything. But, uh, let me go back to this. CNN, NBC News, Weather Nation, NBC News Now, uh, Bloomberg Television, Cheddar News, Bloomberg, CNET, which is really cool because I actually like looking at CNET reviews. You can get a whole b bunch of that today, all day. Then you have reality. These are your reality, like Jersey Shore, Star Storage Wars, The First 48, Crime, uh, CSI, Crime Drama, True Crime, Cops, Comedy. You have your funny AF, <laughs> TV, Land, <laughs> TV Land sitcoms, Wings, Slightly Off, Kevin Hart's LOL uh, channel, Comedy Central, Pluto, Comedy Central Animation, Stand Up, British Comedy. Now here's one that I really like, which is really hard to come by, and this is where I get into my classical stuff. Classic Comedy TV, Family Ties, Happy Days, Three's Company, The Love Boat, The Andy Griffith Show, The Adams Family, Beverly Hillbillies, Johnny Carson TV, Just Alone for even The Carol Barnett Show, Bob Ross, Julia Child, Classic Drama, Matlock, some of the stuff, Mission Impossible, Western TV, Gunsmoke, Wanted Dead or Alive, the Rifleman, Doctor Who, and let's go ahead and let's go up to the Adams Family here, guys. Just alone for this set right here, this is a must-have. I mean, some of the stuff, I mean, this isn't things that you really don't get to see it anymore these days. You really don't see these classical shows right here. So even if you don't like the other content that's on Pluto TV... Just here for me, my opinion, this classical TV with the Adams Family, Matlock, shows, and I guess it's because when I was a kid, it was on. So that's something that tunes to me. I always liked it. I wish it had the Munsters on here. Unfortunately, I can't find it. And that's something that I would really, really love for them to be able to have on here. But the Adams Family is really, really good as well, too, uh, in my opinion. This whole section has got it beat right here. For uh, it, This is great to be able to have just to be able to watch. Then you have your home, home and do-it-yourself network. Kitchen Nightmares. That's an awesome show to be able to watch. Uh, BBC Food, BBC Home, Dabble, Kitchen Nightmares as well. And these are good channels to watch because I actually like uh, watching Chef Ramsay as far as off of things. And This Old House, that was a show that I used to watch growing up as well too. Antique Roadshow, Cats, Dogs with Jobs. So you have, well, you know, let's actually go see this. Faith TV, TBN. Let's go watch Dogs with Jobs, though, guys. I want to see this. That's cute. But there is some very interesting content that is on here that is really, really good. Again, it's nothing fancy picture quality-wise or anything. It's not made to compete and say, oh, well, HD or 4K television or anything of that nature. It's free content for you to be able to watch. Then you go down to Explore. They have History, Smithsonian, Military, Cars. So it's got a great content. Sports, CBS Sports HQ. First things first. NFL game of the week. Look at this. This is cool if you're somebody that likes to go ahead and watch classic games once again. NFL Game of the Week, 2006. The Patriots and the Colts. Tony Dungy was the head coach back then. How many of you guys remember when Peyton Manning with the Colts right there, there guys? So it's got a lot of classical stuff. Nothing really, really major new to it. You have gaming and anime. You have your music. So you do have music. 
you, you, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Temptations, Night Flight, Piano Masters, Equal Play, MTV Spankin' New, Biggest Pop, Yo! MTV, Viral Hits. So it does have some cool stuff. Then it even has uh, your Spanish channels, your kids' channels. So it's got Nick Jr. Pluto, Nick Jr. Espanol, Dora the Explorer, Dora TV. A show directly for just Dora. L little baby... Wow. Okay. Baby Shark! <laughs> Sorry. Nick P Pluto. So it's got some kid comedy stuff, and it's all free content. That's a plus if you have little kids. And, I mean... Who... who, who I mean, again, who... Do if you don't mind older shows compared to newer shows, it, it, it's... It, it's a great deal, and everything. Garfield and Friends is on there, too. Then, here's your local. You have your Bay Area, Boston, Chicago. So you get your CBSs and almost... How many states? One, two, three, four, five. A whole bunch of states and everything for you, going from there. And then, going up, they also have a on-demand area as well, too, where you can actually see what sitcoms they have, action and these are all on-demand content items that you are able to see right here so it's the bond series this is in spanish it's got some great stuff to it numbers hawaii 50 medium uh it, it it really does it has some really cool stuff that you can go ahead and do beverly hills troop legally blonde legally blonde 2 Almost Famous, Make Them What. So some of the stuff is really, really cool that they have. Again, the downfall, let, let, let's go ahead and go into baseball seasons. Let's go ahead and watch this. This is, is great for somebody that wants to really know the history of how baseball, the forming of it, what, and just from a long time ago. The picture quality, again, is really, really good. And for something free and something for somebody that likes class, classic stuff, this is a very great knowledge of content. So even though, number one, it doesn't have something where it is like live, live TV where you're watching, you know, today's modern channels. This is a great, I mean, everything on here is actually a great content of knowledge to anybody just looking at cutting the cord and going from there. Now, am I saying cutting the cord is, you know, if you're missing your Hallmark channel or your Lifetime Movie Network or your ESPNs or your uh, uh, your, your, your Bali, Bali Sports Network, etc. No, I'm not saying do that. Then this is not the option for you as far as other things. If you're needing something for daily as modern day, this would not be for you. However, for just classical stuff, something you want to one day just get away from watching your regular programming and look back and say, hey, you know, I grew up in that era, uh, you know, okay, did I grow up when the Mo Adams family was, you know, first formed? No, I did not. However, it was played a lot when I was a child. So it was something I really, really liked to watch. Even baseball. This is stuff that a lot of people don't really know behind the scenes who some of these people were. And some of these players were the people that really made the league, made it so popular. So it's a great way to be able to get your feet wet into something of just going ahead and having that extra quality content to be able to watch television for free. And you can't beat it because it is free. So I would give it just alone for itself a B plus, guys. I really would. If it's something that you use, tell me how you like it. I, uh, there's, there's not a lot of big solid reviews on Pluto TV. Uh, me, myself, I'm just fairly a new user to it as well, too. But you can't be free. You can't be picked. And the thing about it is it does require you to have an ISP, which is an Internet service provider. So you are streaming it. And you have to have those devices, I said earlier, to be able to watch it on it. But it is a very awesome deal, guys. For free, you can't beat it. you got to thank those advertisers, those businesses that are trying to get their name out there to get sponsors and everything and, you know, try to get people 
you know, that's how they, that's how Pluto TV makes their revenue as far as off of things. But for the side of everything, of classical stuff, this really does have a lot of benefits to it. So I hope this review was good to somebody looking at Pluto TV. Again, if you already have Pluto TV, tell me what you think about it. I want to hear from some of you you users. Tell me what you watch on it, what you like about it, and maybe I'll comment on some of those uh, uh, comments that you guys leave, and we can kind of talk about it and go from there. I hope everybody liked the streaming service review. Again, I give it a B+. If you like our content, subscribe to our channel, give this video a big like, and I will see you guys all at our next stream.